three port cities, Bremen, Palermo and Tunis, connect the two shores of the Mediterranean, the northern and the southern shores, two cities so similar and yet divided by this wall of sea that separates the EU from the external frontier of the European Union, but also Bremen and Palermo, so the northern and southern frontier of the European Union itself. And Europe has as much diversity sometimes within it, uh, within itself, than between itself and its outside. So we're really trying to bridge the northern and southern extreme of the European Union and the southern shore of the Mediterranean for a transcultural and transnational voyage. This festival is about our connections that we have uh, or that Palermo has uh, to the world. It's about uh, connections between t Palermo and Tunis and also about the idea of the port city that is a kind of a hub of uh, these connections to the world. So the summit is called the Syndicate Summit because it's born out of uh, the idea of syndicalist movements, workers' rights and alliances that people build together to uh, work on common causes. And it's a collaboration between the Theatre of Bremen, uh, the Dream City Biennale in Tunis and us, Studio di Zoma, here in Palermo. Studio di Zoma emerges out of the experience of the Biennale Archipelago Mediterraneo, which we took part in curating in 2019 here in Palermo. And in that instance, we said to ourselves that it would be very important to move from a one-off event to a stable presence in the city of Palermo, in the heart of the Mediterranean, and to build a continuity of artistic and political action beyond the traditional and frankly unsustainable fly-in, fly-out model of the large artistic or political events. So it's a new cultural and political hub based in Palermo, based in the heart of the Mediterranean. It opens with Between Land and Sea, a year-long and a multi-year program of activities. And it's the first collaboration, transnational collaboration, that brings together these three port cities in a way one is more south than the other. But we're looking to discover commonalities, uh, common chain challenges, and try to confront them together. And so the Syndicate Summit here in Palermo is really the first chapter of this adventure. So I think we chose Palermo and Sicily because it's basically the doors to different kind of groups of people. Uh, for example, considering uh, immigrants that are basically arriving first to Sicily and then go to Europe and spread around Europe. But at the same time, uh, here you can find a city that is quite artistic and there is a, a lot of cultural activity in Sicily and Palermo being its, its uh, main city. It's a great opportunity to, to find uh, different kind of groups of people here that meet at the same place, at the same city. I think that's, uh, that's the reason why we chose to be in Sicily. We have invited uh, a series of international artists to come here and to work here in Palermo. Um, for example, the Belgian um, scenographer Josef Walters, he um, built this uh, beautiful uh, structure here. Uh, that is a kind of a memory of a building um, that he worked in in uh, Tunis uh, some years ago. And uh, we invited also Monika Ginterstorfer and her uh, transnational dance ensemble, La Fleur, the three dancers uh, from Côte d'Ivoire, uh, Mexico and um, from um, the US uh, that are coming here. And um, But we always try somehow to connect uh, these shows or uh, these um, artistic uh, projects with the reality here uh, in Palermo. As obviously working in the city, we know um, some of the artists who have a political or social interest that they confront in their work. And so two of the artists who are part of the Between Land and Sea program, but also part of the Syndicate Summit that acts a bit as a connector um, and contextual backbone, are Francesco Bellina, um, a photographer from Palermo, from Trapani, and um, Stefania Artusi with her project Emerald City. And I think these are both very successful choices of artists, very interesting as well, because one confronts uh, the issue of waste and migration and uh, borders that are, of course, always imaginary borders with very real consequences, which is the installation of Deal here. Uh, and I'm actually very happy and excited for people to come here together for the very first time, meet and discuss issues like a project around creating a 
uh, shared uh, currency, uh, the school of water scarcity, to see how can we confront the issue of migration and pollution that often comes together in coastal regions. So I'm here to talk to people and to brainstorm ideas, but most importantly, to organize action so that we can fight the climate crisis and build a new society. What we now need to do is take that movement and make it internationalist. How do we think of ourselves as part of the global working class, global workers and global humans who are organising together to transform society across borders? And that's the only way. We can't do it within our nation states. We have to think and imagine new formations across borders in which we can act. So one of our roles can be to help promote renewable energy generation in the global south by transferring funds and resources so that when those countries are developing and changing their economic systems that change is sustainable but also it's our role and our responsibility to do that because we created the climate crisis so we have to help pay for those countries that we exploited to have their own renewable transitions.